Interviewer looks at both resumes and is pleased and amazed with Alex Robin. He is positive he can handle the workload, but doesn't realize this is a woman yet. I think I can hire Alex without even interviewing him. He is very qualified for this position. I don't know about this Will guy, though. He might need more experience. Excuse me, sir. Alex Robbins is here for the interview. Great. Send him in. Please take a seat. So as you may know, this job will ask a lot of you, and I'm not sure if you don't have what it takes. I've done jobs harder than this, sir. I think my, resu my resume speaks for itself. Hmm. Well, let me ask you this. If you were given 20 caseloads right now with someone who had a bad attitude, how would you handle the situation? Given the circumstances, I would talk to the person about being professional and finishing our job. I see. Well, I've seen and heard about everything I need to know. Thank you, Ms. Robbins. You can see your way out. Sir, Mr. Johnson's finally here. Good evening, how are you? Ah, so refreshing to see someone like me. Nice to meet you. Please take a seat. Thank you. Sorry for being late and underdressed. No worries. I can already tell you'll be good for the job. Really? Uh, I was worried I didn't have no experience. Well, you had the chance to grow. There are many opportunities here for you. I think I'll give you the job. Please see my assistant for paperwork. Thank you, sir. This is great. No problem. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Hello. Congratulations on getting the job. I'm just happy I got the job. Here you are. Even though Miss Robinson was better. Uh, we're going to have a, just a little discussion um, about privilege. Uh, first of all, does anybody know what privilege means? Does anybody want to give it a go? Sky. To treat somebody better than another person. Okay, so it's treating somebody better than another person. And um, at our school, at Dino just said, this means a connection. So you have a vibe or connection with someone. So if you feel what someone is saying, then you connect with them. Or you, you want to add on. Oh, okay. okay, so, um, Jaji, what do you think privilege means to you? I think privilege means that just because somebody is, like, a different race mm -hmm. or a different culture means that they get treated differently than other people. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. And you had your hand up. Uh, I think I want to build on what they said. I think, I think it has to do with uh, gender, too. Okay, so so definitely there's different types of privilege. It's not just racial privilege. Um, um, it, it could be gender privilege. It could be uh, socioeconomic privilege. Um, we're dealing with different classes and or money and how much money someone has over another or poor or rich. Or status. Or status, right. Um, yeah, so pretty much... You guys were on the right track, pretty much privileges, uh, just um, a certain group of people or a certain person who has an advantage over others, mm -hmm. okay? Um, yeah, did you guys want to add on to that or are you guys? Sometimes uh, when people have privilege, they don't notice or they don't actively know that they are privileged. Mm -hmm. They mm -hmm. start higher or closer to their goal than somebody else, but they don't feel like they are. They just are allowed, like they yeah. are there. It's and not their choice. They are born into it, per se. And to them, it's it's normal. So, um, so to, a, to a, an extent, you can't blame them because to them, it's normal. That's the way their whole life has been. Um, it's just the people who, who are maybe less privileged, maybe they could express it more and help other people like that know what type of privilege they have so that it could be better, a better situation. 
Question? When, um, when, uh, when slavery was still around, did they, how did they know that they were born, in, that, that they were born into one? Why did they think that they were born into one? When slavery was around, who? The, the, um, the, the masters. The masters. How did they know that? they were privileged mm -hmm. um I, i'm not saying that everyone knows that they're privileged or um doesn't know that they're privileged so i i don't know i wasn't around then so i would probably <laughs> say you know they know they were privileged or they know that they were in a higher class right. because they weren't the ones working they got paid they used other people for their advantages they weren't the ones who were being treated poorly yeah right. and you got some people that are been in that situation, then they don't even know they're privileged. Right, they? right. Yeah. So, yeah, we're so, talking about that. It's like a norm to them, just yeah. to, you know that. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Okay, so well, we might have already went over this, but what makes someone privileged? Like, if, like, as you said, if they're like born and like they're, they don't know they're privileged, are going to go on and be older. And like, they're going to be privileged. They're not going to be privileged because they're not little. Like, Given. Okay, what you got, Scott? Um, we'll maybe see what you like, got. example, like someone was living like in maybe um, a cheaper neighborhood, or and another person was living in like a house that cost a lot of money. They don't really know that they have it better than other people because it's like they both got the got, both have somewhere to live, but at the same mm -hmm. time they do. Mm -hmm. Okay, or so they might yeah, know that right. they are privileged, like because uh, an example. I, we have a great education system here where other third world countries don't. Mm -hmm. So, but I know that. So I know that I'm privileged enough to get a great education. Um, I know that it, it I, I wish that they had a better education. Maybe there's something I could do to help later on down the road, but I know that I'm privileged. Um, that just makes me privileged though, knowing that, or having that education that I have as opposed to other people. Right. Yeah, and knowing that that your situation is better. So like right. in your house example, the person in the expensive house, you know, they know that they're not living down right. in the lower income or they don't have to deal with the stress of living in that type of area or, you know, they're, they probably a lot of the times they're like, I'm really glad I don't live there. Like, yeah. I don't want to yeah. be in that right. neighborhood. Like, mm -hmm. it's, they almost look down on it. Um, but I think that is sort of how people are raised. That they mm -hmm. they come into situ or areas that, that aren't like theirs and they're like, oh, this makes me nervous mm -hmm. or oh, I wouldn't want to be here. Yeah. Right, and they have it there. They have it with them right there, but they don't take advantage of it and don't use it for the good of, good of everybody. I mean, yeah, everybody. Yeah. Themselves. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, last question for me. Um, do you think you're privileged? Yeah, I think I'm pretty privileged. Being able to go to the school yeah. you go to, what are some other ways that we might be privileged? Yeah, I have three phones in the car. You have three what? Three phones and three Three phones and three like <laughs> electronic, yeah. like PlayStation yeah. or yeah. Xbox. Yeah, I got a phone and a phone and every time I bring a phone, I get a phone. Okay, so you guys know that you're privileged in that way because there's a lot of people that don't have as much as you guys. So people okay. don't even have a roof over their head. Right, so mm -hmm. right, there. right. Do you guys and have could... your own rooms? I, yeah, yeah. I do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. a I lot of people don't have school. their own yeah. rooms. Right. That's what my public And they education. could probably be going to school with you. Like, you, oh, yeah. it'd probably be a classmate that you don't know what they're going through, and they could be way less privileged. And I'm it not saying, anyone. like, sharing a room with your sister. I'm saying sharing a room with your sister, your brother, your cousin, your right, uncle, right. like, everybody. Right. Like, well, everybody's trying to live in one house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's, yeah. but that's yeah. like, brothers and sisters, yeah. like, in one house. Sometimes it's, like, two families. Like, you know, your aunt's kids um, and your mom's and kids and your grandparents whatever, because yeah. they just can't afford to live on their own. Well, so everybody has to pull in their income. When your mommy was smaller, what, what's up? Um, she had to move in with my nana and my and her sister did, and her little brother and that little brother. It so was it was a full house. Yeah, yeah, it was a full house. Yeah. Right. All right, cool. Next. So my question, um, who do you think are the privileged and why? I think the rich. <laughs> I think the rich people like the, the, the rich. Mm -hmm. 
Why do you think that? Because, like, they buy, like, really big houses and they have, like, like sport cars. Okay, so they, they buy a lot of materialistic things that they, don't really that they don't really use or need. Yeah. And so that makes them a lot more privileged, you think, you feel? Um, like some people can like just like walk past, like, um, like how they have a whole bunch of money and thing and stuff and they don't share it with anybody. Yeah. Like if they see like a homeless person, how they can just walk past them and not think twice about mm -hmm. it. They can buy so many things and sometimes they can buy so many things and sometimes other people can't. Mm -hmm. And like you guys said, some people have a roof over their head and some people don't. Mm -hmm. So it's like kind of, I forgot the word, but... <laughs> Yeah. And it's even more than that. It's, you know, being able, like, some people have, you know, a car for every driver and an extra car. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, like, there are some families where they're, like, or they have an extra car and a nanny just to take care of their kids so that, you know, the parents don't have to drive the kids everywhere. The nanny does it. And they pay for that nanny to have an extra car. Whereas, like, in some families, like in mine, like, you have to share cars. Like, if you need a ride, you need to work on everybody's level, and you need to, like, make sure that everybody can get where they're going and that everybody's, like, on the same playing field. And then other people are like, oh, you can just take the spare car, and they don't even think about it. You know, that is a privilege. Yeah. Like, being yeah. able to, yeah. or not having to rely on other people, or having the extra money to have extra. And it's also not just money. It could be uh, privilege, not just money. It could be intelligence or get mm -hmm. to do homework and build mm -hmm. easy or get along in mm -hmm. school mm -hmm. and things like that. So it's always not, not just monetary thing, but it could be other things too. Mm -hmm. And going on that note, do you think men are more privileged than women? No. Mm -hmm. So you think, so you're well, telling me that you think women are more privileged no, than no, men? No, I think they're the equal. equal. No. Well, Equal. Okay. Well, we're, so we're asking what you think. So this is what you think, and this is what you feel. I'm not really, really sure because I think today when we were doing the document, like a man who was unprepared and underdressed and got the job, but when the lady came in and she was perfectly dressed, had everything prepared, she didn't get the job. And. Okay, so do you think that sometimes men get treated better than women? Or yes, vice versa? Yes, yes. Okay. okay. Did we ask why or do we want to ask why? Yeah, let's, let's ask why. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know why. Okay, Sky. Oh, well, if you, if okay, so you have, you, have you guys taken any like history courses or anything? No, like that? I'm not. Yeah. Okay, do you know that like history wise a lot of the times most of the rulers were men mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so in Absolutely. those situations men were privileged That's a great example. do you That's feel nice. that any of that empowerment is still like in society today or, mm -hmm. like that men so kind of hold higher yeah. so like kept, kept up with that same pattern as men in power. maybe not as aggressively i'm just using something yeah. that's like very mm -hmm. like, but the th like and also they're like there hasn't been like a Female president. That's a yeah. That's yeah. Example. Yeah. 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 So, so we got close. Kind of. But that that is a perfect close, example of how there's yeah just a man. That's just yeah. something that society superpowers. Yeah, society labels that like a man nowadays, has been ruler. Right. Nowadays yeah. you got a female pilot that goes yeah. into action. Before mm -hmm. right. the female now have the right to vote. Before that mm -hmm. never heard of. Yeah. Right. But like how. Um, like superheroes, most of them were men. They only really have two major superheroes. Yeah, that's actually a big one. That is true. That is true because the, the person who made these comics made it so that men were the heroes, that men were like oh, yeah. the oh, yeah. main actors. Yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. Like, I guess 
like how the men were always saving the woman. Like, um, yeah. 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 Always yeah. And the woman exactly. in danger. Exactly. Cool. It's always, always a woman the in man. danger. And why can't it be a man in danger? For your that's actually kind of more fun like they always get the girl. I don't like that. I don't know why I just don't. All right. That's fine. You don't have to like it. Comes back from the caveman. That's the way they were. I'm saying. One quick, quick thing, and then we'll move on to the next uh, question. Okay. When I was reading a book in class, I realized that there was only like so there was this superhero, and his name was Captain. And it was it was like it was a tech that was talking to toilets and only the, only the women got stuck in the toilets, oh, like yeah. no men got stuck inside of the toilets. Oh, okay. that's, I'm that's being serious. That's, 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 that's very unfortunate for the women. <laughs> <laughs> that example, yeah. That, yeah, that's an essential it's an exception. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
doesn't have to be economic. It can be anything. Or anymore. anything. Yeah, I'm sure there has been. I mean, right now, I can't quote one right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I've had a lot of opportunities where I've been, you know, privileged and, you know, my, yeah. I was in the service and everything, and uh, I was, you and know, fortunate to go through it. Luckily, without a scratch, but there's other people that didn't. So right, that, yeah. I think that's an that amazing thing for me, and that's why I'm still here. So <laughs> cool, yeah, nice. So I think I think that wraps I everything that up, wraps right? Everything up, yeah. um, thank you so, so much, guys. We want to thank you guys for being a part of this project. 